Hi everyone, it's Monica and let's talk about what I'm going to be reading in March and April. For these next two months, I did choose seven books I wanted to read and mainly they are fantasy, but I did manage to toss in a thriller and a romance in there. So let's just get right to the first book, which is The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Rokshani Chakshi. This one is her adult debut and the cover actually caught my attention. This is a gothic fantasy that is being described as a marriage that is unraveled through secrets, a friendship that is cursed to end in tragedy, and the danger of believing in fairy tales. So what I am expecting from this one is a very atmospheric world and very fairy tale-like writing, and maybe a lot of betrayals and secrets being revealed, and maybe a murder mystery is involved in this. I did previously read The Star Touch Queen by the same author and I did really like her writing but I'm interested to see how that transitions to an adult fantasy. Next up on my list is King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. This one has been one that I've been wanting to read for quite some time now and I'm really excited to finally tackle the King of Scars duology. In this book, we're following the King Nikolai. He's trying to find a new solution to fill the kingdom's coffers, forge new alliances, and stop enemies from attacking his already weakened kingdom, which would be Ravka. And the events in King of Scars does take place after Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows, so I think it's recommended to read those two series before getting into this one. However, Nikolai does have a dark magic that is growing within him and he seeks the help of a monk and a Grisha general to try to help him overcome this darkness. Some of my expectations going into King of Scars would be to see some more growth from Nikolai, more so growth from his happy-go-lucky and witty character. I want to go like more in depth with him and see what is underneath that charismatic personality. I know that there is a romance in this book and I'm very curious and hopeful that someone will challenge against Nikolai and how he deals with that. And overall, I am very excited to get into Nikolai's book. Next up is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This one is part of the Cosmere, which is Brandon Sanderson's universe, book universe. And mainly I am reading this one in preparation to read Rhythm of War, which is book 4 in the Stormlight Archive series because it's recommended that you pick this one up before going to that one. This world features a unique magic system with the magical essence is known as breath and there's something to do with color and I'm not really sure exactly what yet but I'm quite sure I will pick that up once I read Warbreaker. We are following two sister princesses and one of them is slated to marry the god king. There is also a lesser god who doesn't like his job and an immortal who is trying to rectify his mistake from hundreds of years ago. And I got all of that from the description on Goodreads but I really don't know much about Warbreaker so I'm very excited to learn about this new world that Sanderson created and hopefully I love it but I'm quite sure I will. <laughs> Next on my list is a thriller and it is I Have Some Questions For You by Rebecca Mackay. I haven't read from this author before but I'm really excited to see what this thriller mystery has in store for us. We're following Brody Kane who is a film professor and podcaster and her past has come back to haunt her. During Brody's high school years at a boarding school back in 1995, her roommate Dahlia was murdered. And her supposed murderer, who was actually convicted, was the school's athletic coach, Omar. But back in present day, when Brody is teaching a course at the school, she notices that something seems off and her memories might actually help to solve this case. And I'm hoping that I will get sucked into this one and that's why I added a mystery thriller onto this list to mix things up. Next on my TBR is Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. This is the third and final book in the Green Bones Saga. This is an urban fantasy series and we're following the Cole family who is one of the two ruling clans on the island of Kekon. However, the Cole family and their clan rivals are almost at the brink of war. And the unique thing about this world is that there are supernaturally powered warriors by Jade. I recently finished Jade War, which is book two in the series, and it was amazing. And going into Jade Legacy, I'm very curious to see how our characters will end up in this world and to see how Jade will continue to have such a huge impact and influence within their world and on the plot. 
And of course, I'm excited to see how this series ends. And I really do love this series because it's really brutal with its fights and politics. And also, I really like the theme of loyalty that's very present throughout the series. My next pick is an adult romance and it is Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. I read the first book in the series, The Love Hypothesis, last year and I loved it. And now in this book, we're following the romance between B and Levi. B is the lead of a newer engineering project at NASA, which is a dream come true for her. But the issue is, is that she has a co-lead with Levi Ward, who is tall, dark, and handsome, and is also her arch nemesis from grad school. When B's equipment is missing and the staff ignore her, she finds an unexpected ally in Levi, and the romance just kicks off from there, so I'm very excited to see how I like this one. Last but not least, I chose another mystery thriller book, and it is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. We're following Evelyn Hardcastle, who is going to die every day until Aiden Bishop catches the killer and stops the cycle. So this book will have repeating days, and the twist is, is that Aiden's going to be waking up in a different body of a guest of Blackheath Manor. So I think this will be very, very interesting to see how this murder mystery will play out. Also, this book has been sitting on my shelf for quite some time now and I've been looking forward to getting to it finally. So hopefully I do enjoy this one as well. So those were all the books on my TBR. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and also comment down below what you were planning to read this month. And I did want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.